renowned documentary director Barbara Wong decided to change tack in 2009 and create a new style movie. More than half of the romantic comedy Breakup Club was to be filmed using hidden cameras and the actors themselves serving as photographers. The birth of Breakup Club was because there's um, a Singaporean investor who approached me and uh, wanted me to uh, do a film about breakups. At that time, just like I said, I wanted to uh, you know, find some way to do a breakthrough. So I tried to think of a different way of shooting and writing a script and blah, blah, blah. And then when I finally finished the script, I was so happy. And then I got a phone call from this Singaporean investor saying that they are facing bankruptcy. And I'm like, oh my God, so what, what am I going to do with <laughs> such a wonderful idea and wonderful script? She approached other investors, but they were leery about backing this unusual style film as they were not optimistic about seeing a financial return. Then she turned to the Film Development Fund for assistance. Its managers appreciated the film's innovative elements and style and granted Ms. Wong $1.75 million, 30% of the total budget. She and her partners and friends chipped in the other 70%. Jimmy Wan and Derek Jung are regarded as the new generation of Hong Kong directors. They're close friends, always brainstorming new movie ideas together. In 2008, they combined several short love stories into their debut film, Lover's Discourse, starring local and Taiwan singers. Just before they started filming, global financial services firm Lehman Brothers went bust, and investors in the film immediately withdrew their funding. The directors then applied to the Film Development Fund and were granted more than $1.8 million. There are still a lot of people investing in smaller budget films because it's low risk and, um, and you tend to make your money back. And then there's the really big production films where you know most of them are China friendly. So you have, you have the huge China market to make your money back. But the medium budget productions are a little bit whisk risky because if it's not China friendly, if you depend only on the Hong Kong uh, uh, box office, it's hard to make your money back. So for a lot of investors, the medium budget films are a bit risky. But with the funding, it's um, at least there's another source of investment that you know acts as a buffer for that. So um, it really helps out for no matter if it's new director or established directors. The Film Development Fund scheme started in October 2007 to fund projects and activities which contribute towards the development of the local film industry. It has since granted about $49.9 million to the makers of 18 movies, including comedies, animations, actions, romance, ethics and suspense films. Ten of them engaged directors who were producing their first commercial films. Fund chairman Jack So says many movies that have received funding scored splendid achievements in overseas film exhibitions. The most notable is Echoes of Rainbow, directed by Alexander Law, which won the Crystal Bear for Best Feature Film in the 60th Berlinale 2010. The fund also provides training for new directors, producers, and other new participants in the movie industry, and helps promote films at overseas film festivals. Films with Hong Kong elements and culture, such as the local McDull animated movies, are popular in the mainland. The Hong Kong elements in the movie is actually quite welcome uh, in the mainland Chinese market as well as in the Southeast Asian market because the Hong Kong movie still has tremendous attraction to audience uh, in the uh, Chinese speaking world. So uh, this is uh, really uh, meets our purpose of promoting Hong Kong movies. Each film project that applies for funding must have a production budget of not more than $15 million. If an application is successful, the fund will contribute 30% to 40% of the production budget, up to a maximum of $6 million. A number of our movies have got awards in different festivals overseas. It really gives us the semblance of a brand. If a particular proposal gets investment from this fund, it's guaranteed a particular standard of quality. And the private developer or the private investor 
would be happy to follow the, our footsteps. Any aspiring first-time producer or director interested in making his first movie or first movie of a different type? Remember I said about diversification. Come to talk to us.